So two days after I'm back from the UFE show and it is my 49th birthday, heading off for the big 5-0 in 2020. And my boyfriend has treated me to, if any of you recognize this decor. So velvet ceiling, velvet walls, leather beds, This is the Crazy Bear. Now the Crazy Bear is in Beaconsfield over here in the UK and it is a mad, eclectic hotel in a beautiful town, middle of the countryside, not by the sea like our Brighton. However, the decor is absolutely insane and I'm gonna be showing you around later. Obviously the theme is Crazy Bear for a reason. There are crazy bears all over the place in the front of the hotel, huge wooden carved bear. It is fun, it is fabulous. We're gonna have cocktails and we're gonna have some beautiful dinner and just enjoy ourselves, sit back and relax. My kids, well the twins are 18 and they are with their dad in London. I'm sure they're having a great time with him. And I am here just to have some me time after the show. Coming back, I worked all day yesterday. I had five clients booked in back to back. And then I was working on my online business until about 10 o'clock in the evening. In fact, so hard that I overslept this morning, much to my disappointment after having planned to give the kids their special ring Things, their Euro Millions lottery ticket and their birthday cards and a bottle of champagne each only to realize it was eight o'clock in the morning and they had about 40 minutes in which to leave the house because Rose has her exams and so did Oscar's girlfriend Verity this morning hi Verity um, and I hope they did well I know the girls are doing really well at the moment but yeah I just wanted to tell you all about the crazy bear so check out the footage later here we go So this is outside the front of the crazy bear. And look, here he is. Isn't he cute? Okay guys, setting up for our event at my hotel in Brighton. Today we are gonna be chatting about menopause, exercise, health, nutrition, as well as a doctor coming to talk about the medical aspect of it. And as you can see, it's a great room. There's a lot of visuals that are gonna be involved, we hope, we're just waiting for a lead to be delivered. Funny how you leave things behind, isn't it? Thank God for my twins. And, oh look, here's Camilla and Joe. Morning, Ooh, ladies. Okay. Thank you for joining us. We are expecting a few more people to come. So, um, thanks very much for taking the time, especially you girls that come from somewhere. Whose birthday is it? Someone's got a birthday. Hey. 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 Welcome and do feel free to ask any questions to Emma. I know we've covered a few there, but if this is your time to find a little bit about the change. Uh, we have Joe Morrison. So my name is Joe Morrison. I run healthimpactcoach.com. I specialise in um, stroke and brain injury rehabilitation, but I also work with people who are dealing with challenges, and menopause is seriously a challenge for some women. So I work on mindset change, how you can change the way you think about yourself and the emotional impact and psychological impact. That changes in your body can have on you sometimes not the things that you think are going to be um, important become very important so that's what i'm going to be talking about today yeah and i'm going to touch on exercise on food choices and a little bit about how you can really eliminate the weight gain around the waist and the upper arm the thighs and the bottom just through food choice and exercise So this is really relevant to your family as well and your the friends of your, your, your family. So we're currently at my hotel in Brighton. Joan Morrison is talking on mindset to change. I'm up next talking about exercise, health, nutrition and food choices. Dr Emma Sloan did a fantastic talk this morning as you saw on different medical aspects and a little bit of psychological on all the physiological changes that come with menopause. Great day. Exercise, especially 
weight training exercise and resistance body weight training exercise is certainly going to help. Boosting your mood, obviously it releases endorphins, it's going to make you feel better about yourself. This reverts back to what Joe was saying about positive mental attitude. So it is very important during the menopause. So we need to reduce our BMI. Our BMI is our body mass index. So the government gives you a stat really. You need to be around 21 to be your optimum weight. 22 to 21, it means you're not gonna be carrying much belly fat around here. Now as to your body fat percentage and where you want that to get to, it depends on your personal goals. So is your personal goal to be a size 12 again and be happy with that? Or do you really want to push yourself and do a body transformation? Let's change your training upside down so that over time your body responds, yeah? You have to look at longevity. You have to think about your health long term. We have to think about the menopause as well. The guys have got it easier, though they do have what's called the andropause. So they still go into a massive testosterone drop. However, they don't seem to have so much emotional turmoil as us. I run two websites, I've got www.fitfreedom, my cards are on the table if you're interested in body transformations, really getting your body into great shape and believe me it is so possible, but it does take commitment, it takes stepping out of your comfort zone of what you're used to. after our workshop and we have had an interesting time it was really good it was good it feels strange not teaching the ladies closing afterwards because I used to love that bit and now it's just disappeared <laughs> but anyhow we did focus on our oh, look the coffee's here so yeah we had a great workshop um, and the doctor came to speak which was really handy her talking about the HRT and what she thought about that Previously we had a doctor who was very much about bioidentical hormones, so to get the two opinions was really interesting. It worked for some ladies, didn't for others. And then Joe Morrison did fantastically, and then I spoke about general exercise and a little bit about food, tailoring it towards competitions, but also towards general lifestyles and general goals. Um, and I'm now here with Camilla, who's paying me loads of attention. <laughs> because you might have had some pictures from this and they're all terrible, sorry. <laughs> we were trying to get the light right, weren't we? And it's Sunday morning and I'm off to another workshop in London this time. Um, so we're going to be specifically talking about the body cleanse. We're not really touching on the menopause that much, it's a different group. Um, but it is about women getting their bodies back, feeling great, I'm really looking forward to this one. We've got a makeup artist coming. We've also got a nutritionist and we've got a new exercise coach that's based herself in Canary Wharf in London who I am helping to get involved with the cleanse. Check this out. Doing a workshop at Pure Gym in London today which is near Canary Wharf in the city and I'm with Justina. We're in the other room just through there but she's actually interviewing the clients and asking personal questions about their diet and their food habits. So we're just going to pop in. weekend that was wow so yeah I mean a workshop on the menopause on Saturday I spent Saturday night with my boyfriend we actually had fish and chips I love that with mayonnaise you can have what you want but you just don't have it that often and then uh, up really early in the morning couldn't even take my HRT because I'd forgotten to bring it I had to whiz off to London to Canary Wharf to host a workshop with Justina talking about nutrition we also spoke about skincare vegan skincare it was an absolutely fantastic event um, I'm really chuffed for her I think she's got a thriving business not only is she really talented she's a lovely girl she can potentially have a massive online business so really proud to be working with her on my way back I had to stop off, go to the loo, but the service station was so... Oh, 
everyone's so desperate to get out of London, I just thought, right, I've got to get in the car, got to go. I've got the M25, I thought, right, I need to, I really need to stop. And then Dee phoned me, and Dee Hazelwood and Joan Morrison were in the Daily Mirror, the Sunday Mirror today, which is the... I don't even know the date today. Let me just check on my computer, because I'm absolutely... Oh my God, it's not big enough. Hold on. I can't see. Oh. Do you know what? It's so annoying getting older. I've got to put these on. So it's the 24th of November. Check out the mirror with Joanne Morrison and Dee Hazelwood in the centerfold talking about bodybuilding and how it's changed their lives and how they went from ill health to fantastic health, combating so many different things, psychologically and emotionally as well. Uh, very, very proud of them. Really, really pleased to have coached them both through to being show ready. Um, Joanne Morrison of Health Impact Coach is a dear friend, uh, fantastic at guiding pre people through the psychological changes of weight loss, a menopause and illness, um, chronic illness that is, and Dee Hayeswood who's a fitness instructor who works in the leisure industry. She's been in the leisure industry for oh, a long, long time, haven't you Dee? And, um, and she now, from doing this transformation, has done her PT courses. She has clients lined up, ready to go. People are calling her after being in the center of the Daily Mirror that have had the same issues that she has had. The thyroid issues, the uh, late onset diabetes, the obesity, which is causing a lot of pain in her joints, etc., and leading to other diseases. So people are resonating with her. They are calling her on the phone since she's been in the newspaper, and I am so proud so proud and she phoned me up she said right Liv ready to do this what do I have to do um, and I'm able to help her and advise her so she has a really strong business to be able to help more women worldwide I mean that's insane isn't it to have a job whereby you're not just in your own little shell in your local town where you have a global business where you can help people across the other side of the world I mean just incredible absolutely incredible Narbonne is a part of that um, very, very proud to be an area manager with them, soon to be a regional vice president. So let's move this, let's move Fit Freedom, let's move menopause nutrition system, let's help more people worldwide with their health and their fitness. <laughs>